We've got the beautiful Miss Lisa Levy in the house with us today on Praise Some Now. Don't go anywhere. Hello, friends. Welcome to another edition of Praise Him Now. I'm your host, Ryan Day. And as always, we just want to thank you for joining us week after week after week as we release a new episode. Uh, we're in our season number two of this uh, special, special program. And uh, each and every week, we highlight a new musical artist. So some of, some of your favorite musical artists, maybe some that you've never heard of before. Uh, but we love music. We love to praise God. And that's what this program is all about, bringing praise to Him. Praise Him now. It's never a bad time to praise Him now. And I'm I'm excited to have Miss Lisa Levy with us. And I, it just seems like it was probably, I don't know, it seemed like maybe a few months back, a couple of months back or so. Uh, I got an email from uh, Mr. Ricky Carter, uh, uh, who is the Dare to Dream uh, uh, editor, official editor. And he said, he sent me this link or he asked me about, you know, you know, are you taking artists or whatever? And I said, absolutely. We're always looking for, you know, new, fresh talent, new, new people to come on, on Praise Him Now. And uh, I think that they sent me a video of you singing and I think maybe playing an instrument. Do you play guitar or? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. <laughs> yes. And so as soon as I heard your voice, I was like, oh, my goodness. God has blessed you tremendously with, oh, I mean, Lord. folks, you're going to get to hear her in just a moment uh, later in the, in the, in the program. Um, just God has blessed you, Lisa, with an amazing gift. As soon as I heard your voice, I immediately started asking them, like, what's our contact info? And <laughs> we want to try to invite her out. And so uh, we submitted your music to the music review committee. And of course, everyone was like, absolutely, yes, let's have her out. And Aww. so it's a blessing to have you, Lisa. Tell us a little bit about yourself Thank and you. where you're from. Thank you. Thank you for having me, by the way. Yeah. I'm so blessed to be here. Um, I'm originally from Jamaica. Okay. Um, but we live now in Georgia and um, attend the Auburn SDA Church there. Nice. So excited. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. And you are the cousin to our Miss Jasmine Carter here. Yes, I am. Uh, and so like, I, it was through Jasmine and Ricky that I, that I got to, to know who you were. Yes, and, yes. Uh, and so so you're from Georgia. Have you always lived in Georgia? Uh, Lord, I have lived all over the place. <laughs> over New the York, place. Florida, Texas, uh, Georgia, you know. All right. What's your favorite place? Which, which, point, which, which your favorite place to stay? Georgia. Georgia. All yes. right. All right. <laughs> I have been to Georgia many times and I can say that uh, it's a very pleasant place. I yes, love Georgia. It yeah. It's from the place. South. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if, if you've ever been to Georgia, uh, you hear all kinds of accents in Georgia. Definitely. So, uh, all kinds of, I think it's like that in Arkansas too, where there's just different types of Southern accents that you will experience there. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. And so I, you mentioned that you play a little bit of guitar. Mm -hmm. Is that the only instrument you play? Uh, yeah. Only a little bit of guitar, but Just you sing wonderfully. How long have you been singing? Since I was three. Since you're three. Yeah. So I'm from a, a musical fam family as well. And uh, when we got to the age of three, it's, it's four of us. And so when we got to the, to the age of three, my mom would teach us little songs. And then we started singing in church singing in other churches and we were like all over the place on the island. So, yeah. <laughs> wow, man. Yeah. So is there a particular style or genre that, that you like better in terms of music and singing? Uh, not really. I don't get into a lot of contemporary. Okay. Um, right. I do a little, but right. I'm not big on that. I just like more soulful I got you. music. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, so, I'm right yeah. there with you. That's yeah. how I, I grew up yeah. on the soulful stuff. So. Yes, yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah, praise mm -hmm. the Lord, praise the Lord. And you have, uh, I, I think I saw your, you have children. Yes. And so how many children do you have? Five. Five children. All right. Well, you brought a couple of them with you today. <laughs> yes, I did. And we got to meet them. And so that's a blessing. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord. Amen. All right. So so we, you, I also learned this about you uh, literally just a few moments ago because mm -hmm. as we was preparing for this program, mm -hmm. I heard you sing just a little bit mm -hmm. uh, of the song you're going to sing for us today. Mm -hmm. And and it was just such a beautiful song. And, and folks, please don't change the channel. Don't go anywhere. You're going to want to hear uh, this beautiful song that, that she's going to sing in just a little while. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I was I was listening to you and Tim practice it a little, and uh, and it's just a beautiful song. And, and I I started singing it, and I was like, man, I've never heard this song before, but it sounds so great. And then you said, well, yeah, you haven't heard it because I read.
wrote it. Yes. You write songs. <laughs> yes, I so do. you're a writer. So I got to pick your brain here. Okay. First of all, how many songs have you written? Um, oh my goodness. Okay, so by myself, I've written about uh, seven or eight. Wow. And then um, with my brother, we've written even more. So we have about four uh, that together that we've written together. That's seven and eight and, and four more than I have because I've never, <laughs> I don't have that gift. That is incredible. <laughs> uh, so when you're writing a song, I want to pick your brain here for a mm -hmm. moment. When you're writing a song, um, does it come natural to you? Does the words just flow? Uh, is some, does something in, inspire you? Or is it like this long process where you have to sit down for hours or days and you just come up with one line at a time? How, how do you write a song? Hmm. Okay, so there are songs that I have written where um, it might take me a little bit of okay. time to write. But to me, those are, those are the songs that I write out of my flesh. You know, Ooh, I, I, I just sure. think, hey, I haven't written a song in a while. Let me right. sit down and write a song, you know? <laughs> right. And those I struggle with. However, there are songs that just kind of flow out of my spirit. Like sure. this particular song, um, Come On To Me, um, I was in my shower. This was during a really rough time in my life. And sure. um, I was just seeking the Lord a mm -hmm. lot. And um, I'm in my shower and I'm crying out to him and he just basically just downloaded the song and mm. I was just singing it in the shower no paper to write nothing and it just kind of just poured out of my spirit so there are a few songs that I've written that it just kind of pours out sure. the ones that I struggle to write I don't really minister those songs right, because right. I just feel like it's not yeah. from him no, you, know, you, it's yeah. just, you know so I mean, that's yeah. very honorable and respectful yeah. so you 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 sometimes have moments where it's just like eh, you know just me write something whatever comes to my mind but then sometimes it's an anointed movement yes. of God's spirit that yes. leads you to write a song that you just know is not from you, but from him. Yes, That's definitely. so powerful. And I definitely. know this song you're going to sing in a few moments, Come Unto Me. It's definitely from the spirit because I, uh, when I was listening to you practice, I was like, wow, the lyrics are beautiful. The music's beautiful and very, very excited. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And so what, what um, do you, do you sing with groups? Or are you just more of a solo artist? Uh, um, both. both? I, right. I sing by myself, but I also sing with my brother and my sister. All right. All so, right. Yeah. So you guys got the little family band? Yeah. All right. All right. All right. But he lives in Florida, so we don't get to sing as much together. Gotcha. But my sister is in Georgia, and whenever he comes in town, we'll do like a church thing or a concert or whatever. We'll just sing at home. Okay. So you guys do so, concerts? Yeah. Um, yes, So we do, have. You, do you also do solo concerts? Uh, <laughs> I, I haven't yet, but I mean, I've sang at concerts by myself. I but uh, I I feel better singing with my my siblings. You Girl, know? with a with a voice like that, you should be singing, <laughs> doing more concerts. Aww, yeah, no, that's you. great. Praise Amen. the Lord. Praise the Amen. Lord. And so, like, okay, so what are do you do you have any future plans to? Because I know I to ask you if you had an album. You said I don't have an album, but you do have the song you're going to be singing for us on YouTube. Yes. Um, do you plan on expanding and maybe wanting to do something with your 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 songs and your musical gift? What Definitely. what is it that you? What's your future plans? Ah, uh, to record have all my songs recorded right. and bless the world with it, all you know? Right. Absolutely. Yeah, so yeah, that's all the right. plan. All right, so what are some of your hobbies? Lisa, I know you, you're a beautiful singer, but what are some of your, if you're home alone, it's just you and the Lord, what are some of your hobbies? Or what are some of the things that you like to do in your own time? Uh, I have written a book. It's not, I don't think I'm a great writer or anything oh, okay. like that, but. So um, you're an author too, all uh, right? No, I don't, hmm, question. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I'm working, I, I, I I'm working on re-editing that book. Gotcha. Um, I also just uh, love to spend time in his presence. Mm. You know, I have my mm -hmm. prayer room and I just love to be in there and I talk with him. Whatever I'm going through, you know, if I'm down, upset, whatever the case may be, I, I go in my prayer room gotcha. and I hide out in there with him. Um, but I also love decorating and, Ooh, and all, all right. that stuff. Uh, art, I do art. art. So, yeah. I, I find that, you know, obviously music is an art. So mm -hmm. people who can sing or play an instrument, they're very artistically minded. And so mm -hmm. it doesn't surprise me that you say you're into art. Yes. What kind of art? Painting, drawing? Painting. Painting? Uh, all right. Um, I also paint furniture and all that. I just, oh. I love decorating. So. Okay. The whole, you know. Also, like, re, do you, re, you you restore, or you just you just decorate it? Um, I decorate uh, or restore. Okay. You know, okay. like if a furniture is outdated, yeah. I read. You know, I yeah. repaint it and well, you make were it new. Well, you many talents. You know? yeah, I grow I many gifts and many talents. I try. <laughs> I, I want to ask you this because I ask most artists this, and I like mm -hmm. to hear the response because we live we live in a world today where some people place. Um, 
preaching mm -hmm. at a higher imp of importance than music. And, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm both. I like to preach and I sing. So people who follow my ministry know that I, that I do both. Mm -hmm. And I cer certainly enjoy and appreciate and, and respect the spoken word, right, the preached right. word, which it definitely has its place. Amen. But there are some people out there that have this mentality that, well, preaching is more important than singing or more important than in music or playing an instrument. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to pick your brain about this. And the question is, um, what are your thoughts on music ministry in general? Mm -hmm. Because again, some people see it as kind of like a second class thing. Like, well, it's, it's a little bit of seasoning on the greater message of the word, <laughs> which is the most important thing. But I personally have found that music plays a major, major role where some mm -hmm. people, some people will not necessarily get much out of a sermon. They may the, the music, the message of the song or the music right. may really speak to them. So right. talk to us about your philosophy of music ministry mm -hmm. or Christian music in general and how it has blessed you over the years? Well, there are times in our lives that we're going through certain situations and I believe it is a music, uh, a song. Mm. You know, the Holy Spirit yeah. might drop a song in your spirit and you sing it or you might listen to a song and I think that mm -hmm. really just ministers, minister to you. It take you out of whatever state you're in sure. at that particular time. So I have, I think they both have their place. Yes. You know, there are times when you need to hear that word, you gotcha. know, or whether it's somebody preaching or the written word, you're reading mm -hmm. it for yourself. So I, I, I think both go hand in hand. If you, if you recall in the Bible, there are times when the Lord would send out the, the, the praise and worship, you know, leaders yeah. to go before a battle. And That's I right. think that plays an important part in our Christian yeah, absolutely. walk. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And so what, what is your, do you have a go-to song, a go-to hymn or, or any type of spiritual song that if you, maybe you're having a rough day or maybe mm -hmm. you just need some encouragement or a song that really ups, uplifts you, what, what would that song be? Uh, I love to sing love songs to the Lord. Oh, Lord, okay. you're beautiful. Lord, yes. you're wonderful. Yes. Nations, all nations. But, um, you know, I love, I love yeah. songs like that. Just anything that ministers to him. Because That's to right. me, at that point, um, he just kind of, while you're there ministering to him, he's ministering to you and it just goes hand in hand. So always my go-to song is to sing love songs to oh, the Lord. Oh man, that is so true. Yeah. You know, worship and, and praise uh, praise is obviously a part of worship. Yes, um, yes. But but I mean to me that's essential because I find myself all the time very mm -hmm. much what you just described. Right. Uh, just me and the Lord, whether it's I'm driving down the road or or whether mm -hmm. I'm just by myself at home or or sometimes it's I, I might be just laying in the bed mm -hmm. and there's a you know maybe maybe I'm having a rough time that day or maybe I'm going through something but just a song will come to my mind mm -hmm. and and it may be something as simple as great is life faithfulness. Amen. I mean, great <laughs> is thy faithfulness. You know, oh, yeah. and so music, it, it just, it grabs me in a mm -hmm. way that sometimes preaching doesn't. And I love good preaching. Yes. Don't get me wrong. Yes. I love to hear a great sermon, a great message that uplifts me and encourages me. Right. But there's you, sometimes it's it's hard to replace music. Yes. It's hard to replace that the, the beautiful song. Yeah. It just warms your, your heart. I agree. And so, yeah, yeah. Praise the, praise the Lord. Uh, I want to ask you, there may be someone at home right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a young person. Um, maybe it's not a young person. Maybe it's just someone in general that says, you know what, I, I also want to use my gifts, my talents. I want to sing and praise the Lord, but mm -hmm. I'm a little shy or maybe there's something holding them back or keeping them from really letting loose and letting the Lord use them musically. Mm -hmm. um, what encouraging words would you say to that person at home that's, uh, that's maybe struggling to really allow God to use them in a musical way? Well, just get lost in Him. That's my, mm. my main thing is allow him to minister through you. Yes, I understand the shyness and all that, but I, I, I think as soon as we um, open our mouths and start doing what he has given us to do, you find yourself, you know, just getting lost in the moment. So mm -hmm. allow the Holy Spirit to sing through you, to minister through you, mm -hmm. because you're not just ministering to others, but as you're ministering, it's it's ministering to you first. I can't sing a song unless it really means something to mm -hmm. me first, then, then I can, you know, minister to somebody else. So let the Holy Spirit use you. 
Absolutely. He'll give you the strength. He will give you the, the courage to do what he has called you to do. Absolutely. And what about that songwriter at home? That There may be someone at home right now that says, well, I, I have some stuff that I've jotted down, I've written down, but I'm, I'm afraid to show someone or maybe I'm afraid to release my work. Uh, I'm sure everyone has that thought at some point. Maybe mm -hmm. when you first wrote something down, maybe even Lisa had mm -hmm. that first thought, like, I don't know if I want to share this. Yes. What, would your, what, would your, what would your words be to that person at home? Uh, share it with one person, okay. you know, and that one person might uh, just surprise you. Hey, that really blessed my heart. And then from there, it just start taking off. So That's yeah, right, right. Don't now, be share afraid. it with someone you trust, someone yes. that you, you can yes. you can you can trust them to be honest and, and truthful with you, right? Definitely. Absolutely. That's what I do. I share it with my brother first. Amen. Hey, All I got right. a song, you know. He's like, <laughs> send it over, and you know, it just well, takes off from praise there. Praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. Well, Lisa, we've had such a great time being able to Amen. talk to you, but we're not through with Lisa. Just yet, we're going to take a short break. But before we, uh, when we come back in just a moment, we're going to play a new game that we have not ever played here on Praise Him Now, and we're going to have a little bit of fun with Lisa and just laugh a little and enjoy our time. Be right back in a moment. Hello, friends. Ryan Day here. The Three B and Praise Him Music Network is always looking for fresh musical talent for our programs. Perhaps you or someone that you know has a musical gift you believe would be a tremendous blessing to our audience and bring glory to our God. If so, we encourage you to send us an unedited video clip of a musical performance to be considered by our music committee. Just send us a YouTube video link or a good quality video file to praisehim at 3abn.org. Again, that's praisehim at 3abn.org. We want to work together with you to continue to produce high quality sacred music for the world and for the glory of our almighty God. So God bless you all and thank you. Hello, friends. Welcome back to Praise Him Now. And hey, we have Lisa Levy with us in the house. And uh, I'm excited to let you hear her sing in just a few moments. But before we go to her singing in a few moments, we're actually going to take the next few minutes. We're going to play a new game that I'm excited about here on Praise Him Now. We usually try to play a little fun game or something to try to, you know, a little lighthearted. You know, it's good to laugh and it's fun to come together and do something. And some of these games you can play at home with your friends or your family. And uh, it just it creates great fun and great laughter. And so we wanted to try to do a little something, have a lighthearted segment here with me and Lisa. And so what we've done here, we've created this new game. You might have seen a version of this game played before, maybe on some other type of programming. But this game, I've entitled it uh, Miscommunication. Okay, it's a play on the word miscommunication, except we're going to call it miscommunication. And here's how it's going to work. I have in my hand here uh, a pair of really, really advanced noise canceling headphones. Okay, and so when you put these things on and it's in its noise canceling mode, it's very, very difficult to hear uh, anyone say anything, especially while you're playing music. And so actually, we're going to play this game in which I give, I'm going to start, I'm going to give the, these headphones to Lisa. She's going to put them on. And then uh, we have selected a few musical words. It could be lyrics. It could be a song title. It could be uh, an artist of some kind, musical related words or phrases. And I've chosen some for her, which she has not read yet. And then the, our crew actually came up with some that I have not seen that she's going to read back to me. And we're just going to kind of alternate. And it actually is really, really fun because it's amazing that how much we depend on our hearing, our ears to be able to understand in communication. Uh, some people are great at reading lips. Some people are not. And we're going to put that to the test here with miscommunication. So I'm going to hand <laughs> these to you, Lisa. I can't wait. This is going to be so fun. So we're going to give this to you, let you put those on, and then uh, let me know when you hear music. Nod when you hear me. Nod to me when you hear music. All right. She's not. She's got, she's hearing the music. Can you hear what I'm saying right now? Can you hear what I'm saying right now? Can you hear what I'm saying? You can't, <laughs> she can't hear it. Okay. So we know they're working. All right. Here we go. Number one. Here we go. <clears throat> In the morning when I rise. In the morning when I rise. The more, the more I. <laughs> okay. That's it. In the morning when I rise. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you don't know what to say. No. In the morning when I rise. <laughs> <laughs> you want to you know what it is? <laughs> in, in the morning when I rise. <laughs> It's hard, isn't it? That's difficult. I could not That's see difficult. That, no. All right, let's put them back on. Put them back on. Let's okay. try number two now. All righty. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. All right, you got the music? Good. All right, here we go. Number two. Picking and a grinning. <laughs> Picking and a grinning. Picking and a grinning. 
she couldn't you couldn't understand what I was saying? No. Alright, I was saying I said picking and a grinning. <laughs> Story There's no going. way I would have gotten All right, that. so here, it's okay. my turn now. So yeah, I'm going to take these okay. from you, and then you have your list there, and yeah. I'm going to put me to the test, and I'm going to, I'll let you know when the music's playing. Okay. All right. He's going to put me to shame now. All right, go. All right. Uh, Praise Him Network. Praise Him Network. <laughs> this Praise Him Network. Praise the Lord, my brother. Praise Him Network. Bring me some tap water. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is it? Praise Him Network. No. <laughs> That's so good. That's good. I thought you said bring me some tap water. All right. All right I'm going to put okay. it on again and then you go, you go with the next one. All right. All righty. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Fit as a fiddle. Fit as a fiddle. Fantastic feather. <laughs> Fit as a fiddle. Fit. Say it one more time. Fit as a fiddle. Fit as a fiddle. You got it. Did I say? Ah, did I say yes, it? Did you say did. fit as a fiddle? Yes, Whoa, I did. Oh, okay. See. Wow. Better, no, no, better that's really am. good. I mean, it took me a couple of tries, but that's really good. All right, I'm okay. gonna give these back to you. Okay. Give these back to you. Let you put those on, and we're gonna try two more for you. Alrighty. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Wait, no music. Oh, there's no music? Mm-hmm. Got any music? Okay, there's music now. All right, here we go. Um, drumsticks and cymbals. Drumsticks and cymbals. Drumsticks and cymbals. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try? <laughs> I was Not saying drumsticks and cymbals. <laughs> Not even one word did I get. Oh, All right, let's, try, let's, let's do let's do a couple horrible. more. Let's do a couple more. All right, here we go. Okay. BB and CC Winans. BB and CC Winans. BB and CC Winans. Oh, BB and CC Winans. Yes. <laughs> You got it. I got, you got it. it. You got it. All right, let's do one more with you, and then I'll, I'll finish up here, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Alvin and the Chipmunks. Alvin and the Chipmunks? Yes! Oh. Good job! Oh, wow! All right, all right. So we're going to let you do. We have a, maybe time for a couple here. Let me put these noise cancelers on. Okay. And... All right. Uh, all right. Musical Teenage Regular Turtles. Musical... Teenage regular turtles. <laughs> Say that one more time. Musical teenage regular turtles. S uh, enjoy the Looney Tunes. <laughs> <laughs> what? What did you say? <laughs> Musical teenage uh, regular turtles. Oh, music! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, I know who wrote that one. <laughs> Brandon Armstrong is 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 responsible for that one because I grew up watching the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mm. Anyways, oh, that was so fun, Lisa. <laughs> yes, it was. You can play this game at home. Just get you a nice, uh, a, a good set of noise canceling headphones, and it's really, really fun to play uh, to see how well we can read lips and understand what people are saying without actually hearing them. Anyways. Don't go anywhere, my friends, because when we come back in just a few moments, Lisa is going to sing a song for us entitled Come Unto Me. Yes. And Lisa wrote this song. It's entitled Come Unto Me. And we're going to also be joined by Mr. Tim Parton at the piano. We'll be back in just a moment. Hello, friends. Ryan Day here. I want to start by saying thank you to all our viewers and supporters. Without your love and prayers and financial support, this network would not exist. I want to encourage your continued viewership of the Praise Hill Music Network. We will soon be launching new episodes of some of your favorite existing programs, like Your Favorites by Request with Tim Parton. Also, we are excited to be launching some brand new programs soon that you won't want to miss, including a new and exciting flagship program that will highlight many of your favorite artists in music. If you would like to continue to support this network with your generous financial blessing, then please visit our website, 3abmpraisehim.tv, to donate today. We thank you as always. And God bless you, my friends. I am here with my arms. 
arms open wide I am here can't you see me by your side I knew Set you free. 